Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to create and configure Power BI data flows. So let's get started. So to create and configure Power BI data flows, we will have to go to the Power BI service and see how we can do that. So I'm into Power BI service and now let us go and see how we can create a data flows. So let's go to the workspace. So before we go and create the data flows, uh, let me tell you one thing that we cannot create data flows in my workspace. Okay. So whatever data flows you want to create, you will have to create in your workspace and not in my workspace. Okay. So I have a workspace which says testing data flow and I will create a data flows here. Now if I go in testing data flows, you will see that there is no reports, dashboard or data set associated to this. Okay. So now how to create a data flow. So to create a data flow, what we will have to do is we will have to go to this new option and on new option, if you see, you have an option which says data flow. Now, what is this data flow? Data flow is preparation, cleaning and transforming data. Okay. Now let us click on a data flow. Once you click on a data flow, there will be a window which will say, start creating your data flows. Now you will have to select any one options from here. Now let us go and select on add new tables. So once I click on add new table, it will ask me to choose a data source. Now, for now, as we are creating our first data flow, I will go and select an Excel workbook and just click on Excel workbook. Okay. It is asking me for a connection setting. So I will upload that from my local device. I'll just click on upload file. Now the file will be, the file should be associated to your OneDrive account. I'll just go and click on dummy data. It will, it is connecting to my OneDrive account. I'll just click on open. Okay. It is asking me for the connection credentials. Okay. Here you will be able to see from which account I am logged in. Now what it is showing is uploaded successful and the connection credentials. I'll just go and click on next. So once I click on next, what will happen is it will connect to the data source from OneDrive and it will give you an option to select a sheet from that file that we have uploaded okay so now i will just go and click on the master file it is similarly like the power query editor that we have in power bi desktop now i will just go and click on transform data here you can go and do the transformation similar like our power bi desktop okay various options are available as per the power query editor mode now, for now, I don't have to do any transformation here. So what I will do is I will just go and click on save and close. So once I click on save and close, it is asking me to save our data flow. So let us give this name as first data flow. Click on save. So your data flow has been saved. To keep your data up to date, you need to set a refresh schedule. So now uh, for timing, we won't go and add the schedule refresh to this. Now our data flow is created. Now let us go and see where this data flow is created. So let us click on testing data flow. Okay. And you see that your first data flow has been created. So here you can see the symbol of data flow. You have the name of your data flow and the other option remains the same. The only thing is the type has changed to data flow from data set or report. And if you see above, you get option that is manage access. If I click on manage access, it is showing me that who is the admin for this particular data flow. And now if I want to add people or groups to this data flow, I can do it by just searching their name and adding them to this data flows. Okay. So yes, uh, that's all about in today's video. Hope you like this video. Please comment below and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.